In this video, I use a very cheap Amazon piston, you may have heard me call it a Nomura, to bring this XR back to life. But first, let's see why it's broken in the first place. Here we are, back with the XR200, the bike that never fails to fail. As you will recall, I've recently brought this thing back to life and it failed me. It just stopped running. And then I was trying to diagnose it. We come to find out that we didn't have spark. And upon further investigation, the dowel on the camshaft fell out. And when I changed the oil to try to find it, I found this little suspicious piece of metal. Where did this come from? During my investigation, I have come to the conclusion that this is aluminum. This is not a piece of a gear like I thought it was. This is non-ferrous, part of the engine case. So therefore, it does not matter. And when I was cleaning up, I found the dowel is hidden in here. You ready for this? It's in there good. There it is. The tiny piece that makes the XR work. In this video, I'm gonna put this thing back together, put the dowel in it, and we're gonna go from there. But first, I wanna see if this thing has proper compression. Okay, so it's supposed to be around 190 PSI. Now, I can appreciate the saying, a loose valve is a happy valve, but this, that might just be too loose, but it shouldn't be causing loss of compression because it is loose and therefore the valve is closed. The intake on the other side, that one might be hanging open slightly. If I can't, I can't move it. So we got one really loose and one that's too tight. How did that happen? So I think I got the valves better. Let's see if there's any change in compression. Hmm. Don't look good. As you can see, we have hardly any compression. Look, listen. That's it. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, good thing I got the wood stove on because it's pretty cold out. So the plan is now to pull the motor out, throw in a set of rings, and bring this baby back to life again, again. But well, Brandon, why are you so certain it's the piston rings? What made you come to that conclusion? When the piston rings are wore out, they'll have lower compression. With lower compression, this thing will start hard. As you as you may recall in the last video, this thing had a time starting. I never did check the compression. I should have checked it, and I should have went ahead and replaced the rings while I was already in there. Exhibit number two. This thing was smoking like crazy out of the crankcase vent. And when it does that, that means too much pressure is blowing by the rings and getting into the crankcase, which means all the oil is pressurized, and it only has one way to go. Out. Hard starts. Oil blow by. And now, no compression. So that's why I think it's the piston rings. We're gonna change them out and see what happens. All right, Editor Brandon. How many times have we had this motor out? Yeah, probably. Well, here she is. The heart of the beast. The beast. The heart. The warmth. For this one, I'm just going to do a simple, just a simple replace the ring. So I'm going to buzz off the four head bolts and try not to separate the head from the actual jug and just see if I can save this gasket down here because I don't have gaskets. So I'm going to try to save what I can. It's just the four bolts up top with the Allen screws and this one cam bolt so i'm gonna get that buzzed out real quick and pull off the valve cover just to make the cam chain and everything installed easier i'm gonna put it back you know i always said the xr was a simple motor but if it was so simple why do i have to take it apart so many times do i just suck at this there we go so i just put it back top dead center We should be fine for that.
Nice. The gasket is intact. It isn't bad. Oh, it isn't too bad. Could be better. Could be worse. Well, shoot, man. This thing's going to need a new piston. If you look, this guide, well, where the rings go, like where they sit, it's fine. But right beyond the lip of the piston, it's completely gacked. Like, it's not there. It just came off my hand. Ugh. How the heck did that happen? It looks like probably the ring like, over jumped it maybe and snagged it. Gosh, man. Dying it. Well, dang it, man. That isn't that isn't what I wanted to see. All right, so while I wait for a piston, I'm decided to be I'm, I'm going to be proactive. I'm going to pull this thing completely down and see if I can find out where this piece of metal came from. <laughs> Ah, uh, saved it. Impressive, I know. And we saved another gasket. I haven't found the broken piece yet. I know this gas is going to run for sure. Alright, and that's that. Alright, so we're looking for where this piece went. And by the way, that took me 10 minutes to pull apart. That was pretty quick. I'm not seeing it actually. I mean, it broke off right at the tip of my screwdriver. So I don't know why that would have done that. Something could have shifted. Who knows? But everything appears fine. So we're gonna run it. Um, I'm gonna put a new base gasket or a new gasket back on this thing and put it back together. What we're using as a replacement is this Nomura cast piston. The difference between this and this Wiseco is the Wiseco is, is a billet. Um, has a little bit better heat tolerance and twice as expensive as this. This is a cheap little piston. Uh, this this one was a higher compression. This one's stock. Um, it has this friction friction coating on the side, to where if the rings fail you or you lose lubrication for a second, this stuff will save your engine most likely. Probably not. But when we look at this piston more, the rings were getting caught on that ridge, and the ring actually broke off in my hand. So she's uh she's no good. Now before you install your piston, I like to install a wrist pin. No, I've just been the C clip. That way I don't have to fight two of them while it's on the motor. And you already know you're going to drop it, so. I don't know why they don't give you three of them. Because you always shoot one in outer space. But you just. You just get in there. In this position, I like to call. It could shoot out and hit you in the face. There she goes. Not the face though. Aha. You can always rotate it that way. The, the hold, hold them dudes are facing a different way than the hole. And then install this bad boy, you want the exhaust valve pointing forward, you know, towards the exhaust. And you just Line it all up. There's something there. Give her a couple of jiggles. Oh, there she goes. She's going home. Now I'm going to fight with another C clip for about 30 minutes. So, And she's in. So I like to keep the, the ring gaps one pointed this way and the other pointed that, that way. 
and now I'll just gently put the cylinder on. And once I get the piston in there, I like to just turn her over, see if there's any snags or anything. And, you know, she feels she feels good. I can already hear it making some compressions, so she's gonna run good. Now I'm just gonna throw this thing together real quick. Maybe I'll time lapse. all back together I'm gonna drop in some of this HP4 Honda oil stuff then we're gonna do a compression test now you want to run good oil in these XRs because the oil is the major cooling factor of this motor you know we don't have radiators you know also the good oil that I don't have right now because it's hard to get Rotella T We'll tell it T4 diesel oil, it's 1540. It's got nice additives in it, it's a good price. Put a splash in the spark plug hole too. Perfect. 110 is a lot higher than 25. So, and the rings haven't even set yet, so that's good. Perfect. So she's in there, it's got compression. And now we're doing a good old spark test. Got good spark. So now it's just getting over all the accessories on to make it run. Alrighty, the Nomura piston is in. She is back together. Let's give it a kick. Yeah, it's gonna work. I know it. Alright, she's got oil, she's got spark, she's got compressions, now she's got rotations. Little three kicker. Now the smoke is probably the oil I put in the cylinder. But this thing runs. Let's do it again. Alrighty. That's a success. Let's put her back together all the way. I'm gonna take it for a rip. All together and looking good. I'm running out of daylight, so I'm gonna throw a helmet on real quick and get on this thing. Let's get it. Do I have rear brakes? <laughs> no.
back this way, but I really don't know. I guess you are. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you want me to do with this thing. Should I race it in a V4 race, the winter series? I don't know. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.